Well, so you're probably thinking, who is this girl? Well, yeah, hi. Um, I haven't made a video in like three weeks, two weeks, two or three weeks, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I got really busy with like college stuff because you know, teachers like to, or professors, whatever, um, they like to put their tests in like the same week. And then my memory card has been like acting up. So uh, let's see, I've like filmed this twice. So let's see if this one will work. I'm not sure, but I'm really determined. And if I look gross, it's because I just got back from work. Um, so I apologize for my work post-work appearance, but I really want to get this video up, so we're going to try. It's October 1st when I am filming this, and I hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get it up today, and it's like basically like completely, utterly fall, even though it's still a wee bit hot, but like minor detail, um, but I really just wanted to show y'all my fall favorites. So the first makeup thing that I switch up for fall are my blushes. I go from using really like bright pinks to more mauve tones, and I have a couple here to show you. My first one is by Too Faced, and it's the Pinch My Petals blush, and it looks like this, and it's just like a dusty rose, a little bit mauve kind of color, and it's super pretty on the cheeks. It looks really, really natural, and it still gives you like a kind of nice glow, and I really like the formulation as well. It's very, very smooth, and I really like the packaging. I think it's pretty cute. My next favorite blush for fall comes from my NARS Dan Marie palette, and I don't think you can still get this actual palette. I could be wrong, but I don't know. But you can get the um, blush, like, individual, and it's in the color Sin, and it's just this really pretty straight, like, mauve blush. It's stunning. I don't think the color really suits me during the summertime and stuff, but during the fall and winter, it's absolutely perfect and I think everybody should at least you know go and check it out. So for eyeshadows I actually have a couple and the first one comes from my Lorac Pro To Go palette and I know a ton of people have been talking about this palette and granted it's getting a little annoying um, but I bought mine and I didn't get it for free at like Beautycon or whatever so I'm really trying to use it as much as I can of course um, but the color I've been loving in here is Chai and it looks like this and it's, it kind of reminds me of Woodwinked but this one's a little bit more like bronzy and Lorac shadows are just like super velvety and super opaque and they're just super good quality as you would expect and I absolutely love this whole palette actually and all these eyeshadows are like perfect for fall so if you really really want it I would say go for it because it's definitely good quality and I use it all the time I used it today again my face is probably melted off by now but you know minor detail. My other shadow favorite is by L'Oreal and it's their Infallible Shadow in the color Amber Rush. And this is kind of like a rose gold kind of color, but not really, but sort of. Um, but literally these are my favorite bl blushes, eyeshadows, that you can get from the drugstore. They're super, super like creamy and beautiful and they go on perfectly and I love them. And I love this color as just like when I want to be really lazy and just use one eyeshadow because it looks so good just by itself. It doesn't need any help. It's wonderful, it's beautiful, and it's perfect for fall. And when I want to wear some color on my eyes, I gravitate towards like olive green colors. And this little, what is it, it's a quad um, from Maybelline called Smoky Cinnamon is really, really nice. It has two green colors and then a cinnamon -y kind of color and then a highlight. It looks like this. I just love it. And granted, I just really like greens because I feel like it makes my green eyes pop. Um, and these shadows are, again, amazing quality for what you're paying for. And they look really good. And they even, like, look like Urban Decay shadows. So that works out. So for lipsticks, I am completely unoriginal. And I do like to go a little darker on my lips. Not, like, vampy dark because I can't pull that off day to day. But just a little, like, your lips but better but darker kind of colors. And the first one I have is by Benefit. It's in the color nice and teasy and I first of all the packaging is really like retro which is kind of cute but this color is so so pretty it's like you know exactly what I just said your lips are better but darker the formulation is also very very hydrating and it just looks really nice and also I haven't put on lipstick since the beginning of work so let's just see Yeah, it feels kind of like a lip balm on your lips, but it's not. It's lipstick, and I just think it's really, really pretty. But if you don't want to spend, you know, 20 bucks on a lipstick, completely understand, I have a dupe for you. The Revlon Lip Butter in Pink Truffle, yes, looks just like it. It has the same consistency, it has the same color payoff, and it's, like, less than half the price. So if you really want to give it a shot, you should try this one first. And my other lipstick favorite is by Revlon because Revlon has the best lipsticks 
ever. And it's, I don't know what formulation it is. It's their super lustrous lipstick. There we go. And it's in the color Sassy Mob. And let's be honest, the main reason I bought this was because of the name. Who wouldn't want a lipstick that has the word sassy in it? So it's just a pretty mauve color. It's like a neutral pink but darker. I just think it's a fun, easy color to wear for fall. And I think it's really pretty and the formulation is really, really great. So next I have nail polishes and these are actually all kind of across the board but we'll just go with it. And the first color I've been loving or will love for fall, fall's kind of been here for a couple weeks, but the color I've been loving is what I actually have on my nails right now. It's by OPI and it's called... Um, what is it called? Designer to Better. And I think this is limited edition, but I don't know. But it's super unique. It's like super sparkly. It has like silver sparkle and like orangey red sparkle and it just looks really cool. And I just think it's super unique and really fun. It's like a party on your fingers. The other color I have is also by OPI and it is Jade is the New Black. And I think this is permanent. I'm not sure. But any emerald green is just like super super on trend because emerald is the color of the season. But I just really love how emerald green looks on the nails because you know some greens kind of look a little weird like eh, green on your nails. But this like jade green is super pretty and super flattering. And this next color I actually bought last night but I'm so smitten with it. It is by Essie and it's called Pilates Hottie which isn't fall at all but it's okay. It's just like a dusty pale pink or purple this is not pink at all it's purple but I just think this is a lovely like if you're really into pastel nail polishes you'd really like this just because it's like a pastel but it's like fall pastel it's awesome so fall fashion is literally my favorite like I'm just I can't get enough of it so I could go on and on about fall fashion to you guys but you probably don't want to hear it um, but if you do let me know and I can do it in another video but I just picked a couple of my favorite pieces that I've been loving so far and the first one is a dress naturally and it's this dress from the Gap it's just navy and green just a simple shift dress with three-quarter length sleeves first of all I just really love dresses with sleeves for fall um, I have a lot of them and they're just I don't know I really like them they're cool and I love the fabric that this is made out of because it's heavier it feels more like fall appropriate it also keeps you a little bit warmer and it's just incredibly comfortable and this dress in particular is also super versatile so you can add like different jewelry or different like belts or shoes or whatever and make a completely different look like every single time and it's just fantastic now if you know anything about me you know that I have a total soft spot for coats coats and jackets I don't know why but ever since I was younger I just hooked on to them and like couldn't let go I have so many I have like a blazer in every color and all sorts of coats all sorts of trenches just everything I have a problem but I have this one and it's like my favorite right now and it's of course shocker by the loft but it looks like this it's like a blanket jacket it's awesome the sleeves are made out of a like um sweatshirt material and then the back and like the sides and stuff are made out of like a sweater material and it has the shape of like a bomber jacket but it's 10 billion times more comfortable and it makes it you look all like chic and stuff without really trying and feeling like you're wearing a blanket to school. So I have a lot of favorite fall shoes like clothes um, but I didn't want to like bore you with 10 billion pairs of shoes so I just picked one and these are my absolute favorite right now and they are these little gray booties. Oh my goodness they're so cute. They're by the brand New Directions. There's some like cheap brand that I got at um, Belk I think but look at how cute these are. They are darling, and they're super comfortable. I wear them to like school and work, and I'm totally fine. And I'm walking around with the dog, so they're super easy to walk in. But they just look super like fall chic and stuff, and I just think they're absolutely wonderful. And I want to get them like every single color, so I might have a bit of an obsession on my hands. Now it's not a fall favorites video without talking about my favorite fall scents. Am I right or am I right? And it's also not a fall favorites video if I don't talk about my favorite Bath and Body Works candle. So uh, here is my favorite fall Bath and Works. Bath and Body Works candle. This is the pumpkin caramel latte candle. It smells exactly what it sounds like, it'll smell like. It's just, if you like the smell of coffee and pumpkin and caramel, you'll like this. And I have one, I haven't burned this one. I had a mini one that I burned in like my bathroom area and it just smelled amazing and yummy and delicious and I love it. But I have recently bought one of those like wax warmer thingies, whatever they're called. I have one from Glade, it's over there, I'd show you but it's on and that's like dangerous so I'm not gonna, you know, deal with it. But I do have the little wax scents that I've been loving and the first one is 
pumpkin spice shocker um they're just little cubes and they just smell so so good so good and the other one i have is um apple orchard a orchard apple cinnamon whatever apple and cinnamon my mom actually had this in her house i haven't used any of them but it smelled really good there so i'm just throwing it in here um they smell so good like i can smell them out of the packaging and if you're in a dorm or something these little wax things would be perfect because it's not like a fire hazard and you can like leave them on all day and well i wouldn't actually do that but if you did you can be more confident that the house isn't gonna burn down so i love these they smell really good they're fantastic so my dog is like moving around the camera and I'm super nervous. Okay, if I moved anywhere, it's because of her. But speaking about my dog, um, if you know anything about me as well, I'm crazy about my dog. If you look at my Instagram, you know she's my life. Um, and I bought her a little something something at TJ Maxx. And I have to throw it in here because it's totally like a fall favorite of mine. Uh, it's a little bow for her. It has little candy corns on it, and it's like four bucks at TJ Maxx, and she loves it. I let her wear it to work today, and everybody was so smitten with her. And she's going to wear it to class today, and everybody's going to love it. And, like, how cute is this? It's super cute, right? And I want to get one for, like, every season. Is that bad? Am I obsessed? I think I am. But, like, how would you not love this? It's so cute. All right, everybody, so those are my fall favorites. I hope you guys like this video. I really hope you can see this video. Um, if these clips don't, like, go through, I'm going to be so upset. But if they do and you see this, you know, I'll be a happy camper. But anyways, don't forget to, like, comment, and subscribe. And also leave a request down below because I would love to know what you want to see. And don't forget to check my links. And I think that's everything I need to tell you. So I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.